What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video. And today we probably have my largest pickups video to date. This is insane, insanity. All of my favorite brands in one video. And it would not be possible without the beautiful people over at Farfetch. Huge thanks to Farfetch for sponsoring this video once again. You guys are gonna see a whole lot more Farfetch content in the up and coming months. So stay posted for what we're gonna bring to the channel. I'm gonna keep on switching up the format of videos, keep on even bringing in some styling elements again back to the channel because I haven't done that for you guys in a long time, but the weather is starting to permit. So without further ado, we're gonna get straight into what Farfetch is if you guys are new to the channel. So. Farfetch acts basically as a middleman supplying the world's smaller boutiques so you're able to support smaller boutiques around the world that are fashion based of course. So they house all of those smaller boutiques inventory on their one platform so it allows them to have the largest selection of sizing and range. This is one of the main reasons why I love to shop on Farfetch. They almost always have exactly what I'm looking for on the website so I love shopping on there for that exact reason by doing this it also helps me like ethically i love supporting smaller businesses especially in a time like we're in it's always good to reassure yourself that you're able to like support economies around the world by shopping on farfetch so without further ado we're going to get into what farfetch was kind enough to send over to the board we have two pieces that serve both of my my, my whole shebang basically these two brands are basically what this whole video is going to consist of so brace yourselves you're going to see a whole lot of these two brands we're gonna get into the first thing that i've been wearing every single week so this first item is something that i strongly recommend a lot of men to get involved with this spring summer i am a big fan of having a personal bag whether that be crossbody a uh, shoulder anything that you enjoy personally tote bag whatever it is have an essential bag to carry everything that you use on a daily basis if you guys want to see a what's in my bag style video i haven't done one of those in a very long time since i started using the product bag as like my daily endeavor in the summertime if you guys want to see that though definitely make sure to like this video if i get a whole lot of likes it'll let me know that you guys are enjoying the content one and two want that video while you're at it subscribe if you're new and also follow the boy on instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e -E. it's where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics this and that so that's what you can check out on there all that to say here is what is in the beautiful balenciaga bag so inching on to what i was saying before they source their inventory from the world's inventory it feels like and this was sourced from the toronto balenciaga store funny enough so it came to me in a day that's another thing that i i love about farfetch is that the shipping is so fast the other item i got is from the uk and it came in three days so their shipping is is insane like in the blink of an eye you get your product so you're always going to be dripped down regardless so we're going to get into this bag right here this was in my recent vlog i was wearing this it's an all leather balenciaga shoulder bag or crossbody bag whatever you want to call it it has this beautiful front low pocket here for your like daily daily accessories whatever and then this huge main pocket and i also made sure to zip this so that you guys could see that it's got that beautiful far-fetched tag it took me everything in my power not to take this off but i really wanted to start wearing it so i kept it on there for you guys this shows how much i love you guys and i want to show you guys the full experience as much as i can so after this video i'm gonna cut that off but yes amazing amount of pockets in this has this back pocket i'm able to stash whatever i need in there and then also in my bag i got my daily essentials but like i said before if you guys want that what's in my bag video i will make sure to do it just make sure to like the video and i'll get into it but yes beautiful leather crinkled and shiny uh goes a lot with the aesthetic that I have going on for myself right now. And like I said, I carry a lot of stuff that that's on a daily basis uh, that I always need and it doesn't fit in pockets. And if I'm not in the position where I'm able to like use a jacket that could stash everything, a bag is really, really useful, especially in the summertime. So I probably will be making that video because I, I just think it's interesting to see what guys carry on a daily basis. Also like hygiene is very important to me. So I feel like having a bag kind of helps you keep all of that on point. You know so next up we have a pair of pants that the whole gang gang just got on to okay so everyone is really enjoying these rightfully so because these pants are beautiful i've always been a fan of the banana cut rick owens pants 
they started making those back in like 07, I wanna say. Could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But this is Rick's take on bringing them back in a whole new fresh way. And I couldn't pass up on getting these, especially when I had the opportunity to get them on Farfetch. Like I said before, these were purchased from the UK and they made it all the way home to Canada with me. So these are the Bolden banana cut pants from Rick Owens from Foggachine, I believe is the collection. Foggachine Spring Summer 20, got them in a size 32. And one of the main details on this pant is, is that it has these connecting zippers on the back that kind of give you a little sus action. Have a little booty cheek flying out right there. <laughs> and on the bottom portion, it allows you to kind of unzip it. And then there's a panel that allows you to flare out your pant ever so drastically. These are, of course, a very thematic pant. When I saw these on the runway, I just knew that they're they're all about the drama, of course. And I really am trying to get some more like dramatic pieces, things that are going to like showcase my creativity when it comes to building outfits. And and I love challenging myself with that. I've realized like going back into like my catalog of fit picks and stuff, this might sound cringe to some of you, but to me it's important with like challenging my style and being a stylist and being a creative and being a content creator. I like challenging myself. I like putting together interesting and intricate outfits and I'm able to see when they perform very well. And having pants and items like these that are just like so dramatic and so over the top allows me to challenge myself and also put together some of the most interesting outfits I've ever done. And when I captured this photo, which should be up at the same day that I put this video up, if all the timing goes correct, that's a that's a photo I'm proud of. So getting more items like this allows me to be that much more creative. And I'm really thankful to Farfetch for them helping me assist me in that process of like elevating my style and, and doing things of that nature. So I really appreciate Farfetch for doing that. So all that to say, you guys know, I, I have you down pack with a discount code. It's going to be Kyron FF posted on the screen. So you guys know what to use as your discount code. That's going to get you 10% off of your order. All of the terms and conditions can be found below. Make sure to go read those before you apply the discount code because there's certain like rules and regulations of course for you guys to be able to use that but take advantage there's not always an opportunity for you guys to use discount codes on farfetch so if you haven't already if you're new to farfetch definitely go check it out all the links and all of the logistics will be found in the description box below thanks again to farfetch we're gonna move on to other items of this video so like i said we're gonna dabble into this video just as a pretense as a little disclaimer i'm just gonna let you guys know of course the title is insane ridiculous over the top i gotta get the views in here somehow but it is not cap and i just want to justify it with saying that obviously i get a lot of these pieces for content i get a lot of these pieces for my wardrobe and i'm cycling things in and out all the time if i do house it it's for proper purpose i.e styling referencing a whole bunch of things i have a lot of clothes and i understand that this is not regular this should not be uh, like like if I wasn't in this position that I'm in right now I wouldn't be doing things like this so I just want to give that as a pretense no this is not rational at all not rational behavior but it does make for entertaining content and that's what I'm here to do for you guys provide amazing videos that you guys could enjoy thoroughly so all that to say let's get into the rest of these pickups because they're insane they're some of my favorite pieces I've ever gotten and probably the pieces that you're going to be seeing me wear all of spring summer so brace yourself we're in for a big one. This first one is an item that I wanted ever since I saw it. I am a huge fan of zip hoodies, a huge fan of zip hoodies. I wear zip hoodies all of the time. And when I found this piece, it just fit me in all of the right places. It was like a no brainer. I needed it in my collection. And this piece is by Balenciaga. So you guys read the title correctly. The Some of my favorite brands right now, that are accessible to me because one of them is Chrome Hearts. I'm not able to go and just get that whenever I feel like it. One, it's crazy expensive. Two, the accessibility of it is kind of hard uh, to acquire because they only have stores in certain locations. And to get it authentically, I'd rather go through like my means of acquiring that, but it's still a bit of a hassle. But the ones that I'm able to get, the top three, Prada, Rick, and Balenciaga. No order of that. Uh, at all, but this Balenciaga hoodie, like I said before, fit me in all the right places. Has a huge dramatic hood, which is like a necessity for me with hoodies because I have a lot of hair. When I have my hair out, it's able to fit everything, which I thoroughly enjoy. Black, 
super wearable colorway and something that I always really enjoy as well. Here you have the little Balenciaga tag. And of course, Balenciaga is having a huge moment right now, but if you guys go back deep into the channel since 2017, I've been buying Balenciaga. Demna is one of my favorite designers, of course. And the harness boots was like one of the first designer boots I ever got. And so that just goes to show you how deep my love for Balenciaga goes. I don't have to prove anything to you guys, but I feel like some people think I'm into the hypey stuff. Of course, Balenciaga is hype, but this is not a hypey piece at all. But yeah, I believe this is called the sport logo. They haven't really had like a small dainty logo in a very long time. So when I saw this, I was like, that's the one I'm gonna go for. It also has like a nice amount of like distressing that adds a bit more character to it instead of having it so like stark and like fresh out of the box. This like kind of fulfills my like for vintage clothing mixing with designer. It's just so perfect. The sleeves fit me perfectly. I have really long arms and it, it, it's able to like, I'm able to hold my hand out and it's it's perfectly fine and it's perfectly cropped as well. How many times I'm gonna say perfectly? You guys put a counter down below. <laughs> but yeah, zip hoodies, definitely an essential if you guys are into that. I know some people aren't, they like pullover hoodies. I'm personally a zip hoodie type of guy. So this next piece is something that a lot of my friends were kind of on the fence on. Of course, since it's a more pricey piece, I asked everybody their opinion on this because I wanted to make sure I was doing the right thing. But at the end of the day, this is like a prime example of you're gonna have to listen to your gut at the end of the day. Other people are gonna have their own intuition and ideas of what they think is like right. And there is no right and wrong in fashion. It's about like what you personally like and enjoy at the end of the day. And for me, this is something that I I knew right away that it was like so perfect for me. I've always wanted like one piece of Prada outerwear and of course it's super expensive, but nothing actually satisfied my love for like the, the fit, the execution, everything. And when I saw this, I was like, this is so me. I love crop pieces and it was women's wear. I was like, what the hell? Like how, how is this on women's? Like I could easily see men wearing this, but of course it is very intensely cropped. So I understand why, but this is the cropped Jacket with reed nylon by Prada, of course. Got the little triangle metal logo right there. And it has the Prada hanger right there as well. Really, really sick piece. When you guys see me try this on, you're gonna be like, oh my God. The chest is super wide. I think it measures out to like a, like a 32 pit to pit, which is insane, super dramatic, of course. And the high shoulder point to bottom, I forget what it is, but it's definitely cropped. So if you're brave enough to try something like this i definitely recommend it one of the most interesting Prada pieces i've seen in a very long time besides like of course the leather bombers and stuff that raf's been doing but this is in my price range okay the but the most interesting thing in my price range as of recent has plenty of pockets super wearable like i said before next to my arcteryx jacket when it comes to like kind of groggy weather and like more times when I want to be a bit more mysterious or that type of vibe, I'm probably going to be gravitating towards this if I'm trying to be a bit more luxe, you know? But yeah, this is a very like low key piece, Frank type of vibe, you know? All I'm missing is my Homer chain and my bike. You know what I mean? <laughs> so now we're going to get into some Rick. You guys know Rick is one of my favorite designers. Of course, one of my designer pickups videos would not be complete without a little Rick piece. So let's get straight into it. Of course, we just came out of showing those banana cut denim, which is like insane. Oh yeah. Yeah, those were mainline, by the way. Just had to let you guys know about that one, not the Dark Shadows. Not that there's anything wrong about Dark Shadow, but I just had to let you guys know. There's a little difference. So now we have another another piece. This is by Gethishmeen. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This is Fall Winter 21, also a very recent season. And this is just like a tighter ribbed hoodie that I really enjoy. Let's try and take this tag off. Put this here. We have every Rick and Balenci tag under the sun. Go Balenci tag, Rick tag. <laughs> Another Rick tag right here too. So we're gonna put all those over there. Yes, so this is like a ribbed hoodie. I am a huge fan of this exact silhouette. Let me break it down to you guys right now. So I've always been a huge fan of the silhouette of having something a little bit more tighter fitting on the top and then having like extremely dramatic bottoms that are just super wide. I find it looks very flattering for some reason. And it's something that I've seen just work well with a lot of people. And I'm also gonna be doing that video coming up very, 
very soon. I want to do it with my best friend Louis. That's a video that I've been planning down the pipeline for quite some time is like just dressing for body proportions and dressing for your body type. Uh, I think it's something that I definitely want to uh, cover on the channel because it's something that I always get asked like how do I dress for my personal body type etc and I feel like the best way I'm going to be able to cover that is with my homie Louis because he's like a bit of a bigger guy and he's able to dress amazing like he's like probably one of the best dressed bigger dudes ever point blank even with removing the title of bigger dude just him as a person I love his style I feel like he's able to body a whole lot of stuff so all that to say that video is coming very soon but going back to this love the silhouette it gives me tighter upper have some wider bottoms and done deal gives kind of an athletic vibe um kind of like a bit of a luxury lululemon type beat all the women's lululemon so fire but the men's stuff fits horribly so this is like my take of that also is pretty fairly priced uh, for mainline rick so i was happy with it next up we have this crazy dark shadow piece i've never seen this jacket before beautiful color it's by rick owens dark shadow of course and i just loved the fit you guys know i loved a great cropped jacket or cropped piece in general really flatters my personal proportions very well and like i was saying before having a bit of like a, a tighter or cropped upper and then pairing it with like some wider bottoms just like is like chef's kiss it's so good I and mean, like i said before the color just something very unique i don't really have much of this color in my wardrobe like this like pewter gray if that makes sense um also has this back detail where you're able to like stuff a hood within it but i think i would just keep it like this because i love how it looks it gives me a bit of like a military vibe but more futuristic of course that back cut is beautiful adds a lot of shape and yeah super great my homie jacob blessed me on this really 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 nice of him and yeah he has crazy fits crazy pieces you guys see them in the vlogs all the time so shout out to jacob really appreciate it almost done here i told you guys it's a pretty serious video okay so this i don't know if i talked about these on the channel yet but if i have screw it we're gonna dive back into it anyway so as i was discussing before having super dramatic wide bottoms is something that i personally enjoy a lot with my current style it's either super wide or i do a little flare moment also i don't mind Mine's skinny is just if it's done in the right way of course but wide is something that i'm really enjoying right now and the best pair of wide denim that i've seen as of recent has come from Balenciaga and Rick Owens. Both of them are my favorite designers. And of course, one of those wide denim here is by Rick Owens. I believe this is a dark shadow pair. Honestly, it's kind of weird because I thought this would have been mainline, just the way that they constructed it, but very interesting pair of pants. Of course, I won't be able to show you guys all of the details here, but I want to show you some of the internal stuff because it's just kind of crazy. This is called the Geth Cut Denim, and you guys could see some of the details in here. I'm just going to show it to you because it's kind of wild. So yeah, I'm just gonna read that out to you. This is made in Japan. So both of the wide cut denims that I've been frequenting recently, uh, the Balenciaga ones and the Rick Owens ones, both made in Japan. So for all my denim purists out there, I know a lot of people think like, oh, okay, like designer denim is so expensive for no reason. It's honestly made just as well as like a lot of the purest denim brands out there that can be found in like self-edged and other things like that. Made in Japan, which is insane. And I just love them, man. They're, they're just so sick. I ended up having to get them in a 33 unfortunately just because that's the only size that was left available like i said these are a limited edition and they're an exclusive 16 ounce japanese salvage denim from i'm not even going to try and pronounce that area i'm sorry i won't be able to pronounce it correctly the bottom is insane it says deeper than a mother's tears rick so 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 drunk so crazy so over the top but you gotta love them anyway Moving on, like I said before, this kind of just, it reminds me a lot of the Stotts Bellet pants that I always wear, but obviously a lot more over the top and wider, of course, but it still gives that same pretense where it like slightly flares, but it's obviously a wide cut pant, super high waisted and just like a jet black. So super wearable, love these pants. Fernando has a pair, we were talking about them and I tell him, I'm telling him like, I know he likes a slim moment, but these, they're just like the perfect wide cut pant. He should definitely wear them. So everyone tell Fernando to bust his pair out because these are a banger for sure. So the last two pairs, told you guys we, we're going crazy spring summer i'm not playing games i'm really trying to take this to the next level so you guys can clearly see how we're coming so this 
is a pair that I showed in the last video and I was able to find the pusher pants. I've been trying to find these for quite some time. When I first saw them, I wasn't really in the position to just shell out money for them, but I didn't want them to slip away once again. So I ended up just biting the bullet. Of course, they're a little bit pricey, but I've always wanted them. So I was just able to justify it a bit more. Also super great to style because you could kind of turn these into like a dramatic moment too when you unsnap them and then they just kind of bellow out on either side. Love the pusher pant, one of my favorite pants that Rick has ever done. I know he has other iterations that might be mainline, that might be a bit more dramatic, but I wasn't sure what to go for. But when in doubt, just go for the simple option because already Rick is just so standoutish anyway that I didn't mind playing it a little safe because it's already so over the top. But yeah, the Rick Owens pusher pant. What is this by? This doesn't even say, yeah. Anyway, so really enjoyed these. Ended up going with a size XL women's a lot of the stuff I'll try and list the sizing below because I always realize I tend to forget that sometimes when I'm talking and just getting caught up in the moment remember uh, whatever so we're gonna go on to the last piece last piece is by of course Rick Owens. Yes, of course. Um, so we're going to get into the last piece. As I just said, this is a pair of sunglasses. So my little dilemma slash debate was that I have the Rick Owens shield glasses. Love those. Super drama, super over the top, great for shoots styling a whole bunch of stuff like that. But the one thing is, is that I always tend to want to baby them because the case is so huge, kind of ridiculous. Uh, takes up all the room in the bag and it's not super protecting. It's kind of just like a flap. And so it, you tend to like only want to bring out those glasses for like a shoot or for a special occasion, whatever. But I wanted something that was a bit more obviously distinct and futuristic, but at the same time, you could wear it every day if you wanted to. And that's exactly what I found with this pair. And I feel like I'd be able to really bust these out in the summertime and have a good time with them. So let's take these off quick so that you guys can see them. Okay, so these are the Geth, once again, Geth Rick Owens sunglasses. These were famously worn by Gunna on his new album, which is pretty funny. Is that the reason why I got them? No, <laughs> but um, I really do enjoy how wearable these are. I thought they would be a little bit like too narrow for me, especially because I have like bushier eyebrows, but they do look really nice on me. Honestly, like I enjoy them. I find they look really, really sick. Um, they're like a bit of like a more intense version of the Celine glasses that I have. So I'm really fond of them. I enjoy them a whole lot. I think they're quite sick and I could easily see myself wearing these a whole lot in the summertime. So all that to say, I'm really happy with them. They're so sick. They, they even fit like with my hair up like this and the little strands, very fire, very, very fire. So that is that you guys. I am beat. I've been talking your guys' ears off and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Once again, huge thanks to Farfetch for sponsoring this video. If you guys haven't already, make sure to go check out the links in the description and all of the terms and conditions, of course, on how you guys could shop Farfetch if you guys are a brand new customer. My discount code is KyronFF, so make sure to go take advantage of that. That'll get you 10% off of your order. And I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Make sure to go like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Follow the boy on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. Post fit pics, this and that. So that's what you can check out on there. Please let me know in the description, no, in the comment section below what your favorite piece was and also what you guys are going to be wearing this spring summer. I love to talk to you guys, discuss what you guys are into, of course, and also know what you guys are feeling out of the stuff that I'm buying. I just like having that little dialogue with you all. And if you guys want to further that dialogue, make sure to go sign up for the the membership that I have over on Patreon. I have a Discord group associated with that. So if you guys wanna just chit chat, have a little community, um, feel free to go check that out. No pressure at all, but yeah, just supports the channel, helps it go. And I'm so grateful for you guys. Without you guys, I would not be here and doing crazy videos like this. So appreciate you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Peace.